filmmaking is often an act of introspection for me. It's during the process of the filmmaking that I identify my travel is all towards my roots. The story often begin as something which is unknown. But later, when I travel in connection with the story, then I kind of identify the story was already somewhere and it is connected to the past. But it's still something fresh and it's still something new. It is about identifying the synergy of the past with the future. Tide of Lies is a feature length fiction which manifests the results of my investigation of the practice led research on Indian transcendentalism in cinema. Myself, along with my brother, made a trip to the highlands of the Scotland. It is not a location scouting of a very conventional sense where you find locations for your pre written sequences. During the initial phase, I have made few research trips to India where I actually been to locations they described in the myths that I have taken as a part of my study. Tide of Lies is no way an adaptation of the content of these myths, but I try to develop a cinematic technique of using these forms and transcendental methods used by the Indian traditional art forms. This trip to the highlands is more of identifying the locations that could deliberately make a connection to these spatio-temporal concepts. It was very much exciting for me when I found this very long dark tunnel with a beautiful texture but still it has a road travelling which kind of represents the time, the present day. One this kind of tunnel which is connected to the Potentheyam where they believe this protagonist has actually had its inception. This film is more of realizing the real essence of being a mother and one's own dynamic existence along with the interaction of characters and the nature. There will be often some situations in my screenplay which has to be filled with some bits of a story and it is often the locations that tell me the story.